It's another day today, Tuesday, July 2018, 2020. We say thank you to that God Lord of the heaven for continuing being good to us. He is Alpha, He is Omega. Let's continue praising Him. Amen. Everywhere you are, brothers and sisters, Everywhere you are, brothers and sisters, let's join together and praise this God of the heaven. By His grace, we are alive again this morning. By His power, we are alive again in this morning. Amen. By His authority, we are alive again this morning. Let us praise that God, Lord of the heaven. There is no one like Him. Remember something and stop asking yourself a million of a question and stop crying. Remember about David. When you read the Bible, the scripture is telling me and you about David who was a shepherd. David was a behind sheep. But that God of the heaven made him to be king. Jehovah is the God of promotion. Amen. This is a good story to share everywhere we are. From him, there is a blessing. From Jehovah, there is a promotion. He took David from zero to hero. Amen. David was a shepherd earlier. And he ended up being a king of uh, Judah. This is how God is about. When you look uh, at the scripture, we hear about uh, a woman called Esther. This one was an orphan, a so poor woman. Look at what God did in her life. God made her. A queen the one from a poor family an orphan who didn't have a who didn't have a father and a mother but she ended up being a queen this is why I'm telling you Jehovah that we pray is a God of promotion is a God of promotion when you look at the scripture we can hear about Paul and we're going to have so many questions. Who was a Paul? According to the scripture, Paul was an antichrist. Paul was a killing the believers of Christ Jesus. Paul was a prosecuting the believers of Christ Jesus. But when time of salvation reach him Paul he end up being a prison a prison a prison in Christ Jesus Amen. and he was not shamed to say so I'm a prison I'm a prison I'm a prison in Christ Jesus to mean that I will die in Christ Jesus to mean I will continue doing the will of Christ Jesus this Amen. is what we call Jehovah is a savior he is a life changer. Jehovah is a savior. He is a life changer. He changed the life over Apostle Paul, who was an antichrist. Who didn't want to see Christian near him? Whoever called a Christian, he could make plan to kill them. But he ended up being a prisoner, a prisoner in Christ Jesus, Amen. a true Christian. The one who worked hard to save the lives of so many people. The one who had a mission to take out the people from the snare of a certain, from the power of a certain, from the hand of a certain, to deliver them to Christ Jesus, Amen. to deliver them to Jehovah. Amen. Remember something. When I look at the scripture, 
we can hear about a sick person who uh, was sick from uh, 38 years. Hey, 38 years this person was sick from 38 years. He didn't get help in 38 years. But one day, and Bethsaida, when he was a, at the pool of Bethsaida, he met an angel, and that was a, a day to receive his miracle. Amen. The Bible says that the man told him to take a bed and carry and go home. He was healed. This is a story to share. You still have a million of a question asking yourself about a sickness. When will I heal? When God will come and help me? I'm so sick. Look, how many years have been suffering about that sickness? Maybe some months. Look at that one that we've been sick. The one that we've been healed in 38 years of sickness. But in a few minutes, God has spoken his life and the person was healed. Amen. This is a God that you believe. A wonderful God. A wonderful Father. A God who can hear the cries of a people over the entire world and come to rescue them. Amen. And come to help them. And come to heal them. This is a story to share everywhere you are. Remember what happened to other people and how God helped them. When we look at the many stories of other people, we are uh, really uh, becoming a witnesses of uh, what happened and what is still happening till today. Amen. He is Alpha and He is Omega. Amen. The God of a miracle, everyday miracle. When you look at the story of a Hannah, <laughs> we see a polygon man. A polygon man with two wives. We see Penina and we see Hannah here. The one in which was terrorizing. The one which was putting as I want to shame. The one in which was pointing fingers to Hannah every day. Look what happened now to Penina and what happened to Herna. It's a story to share. Amen. It's a story to share. This is how life is about. You're going to laugh at a person as you don't know the destiny of that person. What God did to Hannah, God wiped, wiped, wiped the two years of Hannah by blessing her a great prophet. A someone who could pray for people. A someone who could help the nation. But he came out of it, the stomach of Hannah. The one that didn't have a child from she was born the one which was shameful by her rival because she didn't have a child but the god one day had a cry and she blessed she blessed her a great prophet amen jehovah is the god of the answer jehovah is the god to trust because when you come to him with your burdens of a problem, with your heavy burdens of a problem, going to him, he will take all your luggage and ease it so you may collect your level, your level luggage. He will take all your problems so you may go with the answers Amen. to him there is a glory Amen. to him there is prosperity Amen. 
to him there is a solution sir let's continue and continue and continue forwards in front of a god's eye let's continue and continue and continue being in christ jesus Amen. to reach our destiny there is something close to you you've been walking from long time it's been many years that you are here and there remember this is a time now it's a time for your harvest Amen. you plant it you plant it from years and years but you didn't lose the hope of it receiving of collecting your rewards it's a time to be paid by the goal of the harvest so don't be disappointed by hearing words of the people here and there don't be discouraged by people who don't really know more about your destiny you know yourself what you need from God. Amen. Keep going until you reach the peak. When you're going to be at that peak, you will praise the God. Amen. And everyone will see you crowned. They will see your crown and they will also praise God with you. Amen. Let us pray, brothers and sisters. Let us pray to that Lord of the heaven, God of a miracle. Let us pray to that God, the creator of the creators, the one who can change lives of the people, the one that you can transform your today to be a good day, the one who can make your today to be a good day, Amen. the one that you reserve all your blessing in his hands, the one that reserve your promotion. He will do what he wants to put your enemy to shame. Let us pray to that God of the heaven. Let us pray to Christ Jesus. Let us pray to God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your enemy will surrender. Your enemy will surrender. You will never hear about them again in your life. Because the battle was no your, the battle was of God. Amen. You will be a victorious. Soon as possible, you're going to be a winner. Because you trust the God of the heaven. So... Don't continue asking yourself a tri trillion of questions, but remember that God is there with you and that God will answer your prayers. I hope, I hope you are going to share this message with the, as a friend of the entire world. I'm your brother in the Lord, the prophet Alfonso, Warali Chris, I love you. Let's share the message. Let's share the message. Um